What is up, awesome peeps? Brent McCluskey here with Electrified Reviews, and today we are reviewing the City Bikes Cheetah electric bike. This thing is <laughs> a blast to ride. Very excited to dive into this, but first, let's roll the B-roll. All right, awesome peeps. So again, this is the Civi Bikes Cheetah electric bike. It is just a cool looking Harley style cruiser electric bike. Big old long wheelbase, big fat tires, comfy spring saddle, really cool ride here. Starting price on this is going to be $23.99. That's the normal price right now at the time of this review. It, it, it is on sale for $21.99, $2,199. That's $200 off from kilowatt.store. It's one of the suppliers here for the Civi Bikes Cheetah. If you are interested in picking this up after the review, we will leave a link on where to purchase this in the full review. It will be in the description of this video right here. Now, what's cool about this company here, Civi Bikes, is they do offer a one-year warranty on this ride right here, which is nice. So, you know, if there is an issue on this, um, battery issue, uh, component, whatever, they will get that taken care of for you within one year. And it's a lifetime warranty on the frame, which is also pretty cool. Um, another cool little, I guess, feature about this company here, Civi Bikes, is they do offer free shipping to, I think, maybe all of the contiguous US, or it might be just select states, but at least right now on the website, it's saying that they are offering free shipping so that's also kind of nice because a lot of times the price might be you know the price $21.99 and then you go to check out and it's a couple hundred bucks for shipping which is fine but it's always kind of a nice little bonus when shipping is included so let's go ahead and dive into the specs here on the Civi Bike Cheetah also by the way look at this beautiful green grass it's finally finally been raining here in California it's been so like it just hasn't rained forever and then for the last like two weeks straight it's been raining like every single day which is nice because now you know, hopefully the fires won't be, you know, as prevalent and we have some green grass finally. But okay, diving into the specs on the City Bikes Cheetah. In the back here, we've got a Bafeng hub motor, 750 watts of nominal power, about 1200 watts of peak power and 80 newton meters of torque. This is a powerful motor, awesome peeps. And honestly, Bafeng motors are some of our favorite. They're just reliable, they're affordable, and they do the job well. This motor, brings the Civi Bikes Cheetah up to a top speed of 28 miles per hour out of the box, which is gonna make this a class three electric bike because you can reach that with a pedal assist or with the throttle here. Now, 28 miles per hour is a top speed out of the box, but I think you can actually adjust the top speed in the display here. You can, you can crank it up a few more miles per hour if you do want to. Now, the pedal assist here is going to be a cadence sensor you can see it here on this side, right by the cranks, right where the cranks connect here. It's that little piece right here. Now the, with cadence sensors, there's going to be a start and stop. Uh, it's kind of the delay from the time that I start pedaling and the time that the motor actually activates and starts kicking out power. And also when I stop pedaling and the time that the motor actually deactivates. So there's a little bit of a, little bit of a delay a little bit of a lag, that's indicative of almost every cadence sensor, which is why we prefer torque sensors. They're more precise, they're more accurate. They kind of just give you a better feeling when you're riding these bikes. But for a bike like this, where really this is, in my opinion, a cruiser electric bike, this is not meant for like super long distance commutes. So it's not that big of a deal, especially when you do have that big, powerful 750 watt motor. All you have to do, <laughs> if you wanna overcome the delay in the pedal assist, you can just crank that throttle because it is live from zero miles per hour. So very cool. And this is a half grip twist throttle, by the way, very nice little throttle there on the right hand side of the handlebars. 
For the derailleur, we're gonna have a Shimano Altus derailleur, seven speed, and that's kind of a upgrade point. So this is the second time we've reviewed this bike. We reviewed the Civi Bikes Cheetah um, about a year ago, I think. And at that point, they were rocking a Shimano Tourney. So this is, uh, a little, this is actually quite a bit more affordable um, than it was about a year ago. And they've upgraded some of the components, which is very nice. So the Shimano Altus derailleur pairs with the Shimano Turny or the Shimano SIS index trigger shifter here on the right hand side of the handlebars. Uh, this is a fine shifter here. This is not my favorite shifter. It's a little bit clunky. Honestly, I would have preferred to have seen, you know, if they were able to leave the Shimano Turny derailleur and then actually upgrade the shifters here to be trigger shifters because those are just a little bit easier to use. Um, the shifters are closer to your hands when you're when they're naturally resting on the handlebars. Again, not a big deal. The SIS Endo Trigger Shifter, it works fine. It gets the job done. Now the battery for this, the stock battery is gonna be a 13 amp hour battery. It's gonna be sitting right here inside of this tank. So <laughs> what's cool is because the battery is up there, it keeps it really, really streamlined. You can't even, I mean, you can tell it's an electric bike because the motor in the back, yeah, but the wires are all internally routed. The battery is completely concealed. So it's kind of like a low key electric bike, which I really do like that. Um, and honestly, I just think it makes for an overall very clean look. However, because the battery is up here in the tank, um, it does make the center of gravity a little bit higher than average for this bike because obviously the battery is, is just higher up on the frame compared to it being like on the down tube there. So not a big deal, just something to keep in mind. It does change the ride characteristics a little bit. Now again, the stock battery here, 48 volt system, 13 amp hour battery. However, you can upgrade this to a 17.6 amp hour battery. I think it's like, 300 bucks more or something like that. And if you go for the bigger battery, you're gonna get a max range of probably about 50 miles or so. With max range, it's always an estimate. A lot of that's going to depend on how the bike is ridden, how much the rider weighs, what kind of terrain, how much you're using the throttle, all that good stuff. But you can expect around 50 miles of range for this bike right here. Now for braking power, this is also another really cool point for this bike, we do have Tektro hydraulic disc brakes, front and rear, 180 millimeter calipers. So nice stopping power on this bike. There's the rear disc right there. Nice stopping power. Now, even though they're hydraulic disc brakes, um, the stopping power is great. Don't get me wrong, but this bike is heavy, guys. This thing weighs like 70 pounds, 72 pounds, something like that. This is a heavy, heavy bike. Um, and with that extra weight and because of that top speed, these brakes are the minimum of what I would wanna see. Honestly, it would be kinda cool if we could see maybe like a quad piston brake on this or like a 203 millimeter rotor just to give it that extra stopping power. But even as it stands, there's plenty of stopping power here for this bike. Also, because uh, these are hydraulic disc brakes, it does mean that I can actually adjust the resting position of the, of the brake levers themselves here. So if I wanted to, I could bring these brake levers in a little bit so that the natural resting position is you know closer to the handlebar or further away. Also, these brake levers do have motor inhibitors built in. So whenever I depress either of the brake levers here, it's going to instantly cut power to the motor, ensuring that I have the shortest possible stopping distance, which is, you know, really, I really want to see that. And I'm very happy to see that on this bike for two main reasons. Number one, it's the, it does have that cadence sensor, which remember it has that kind of lag, the delay for the start and stop. So having the motor inhibitors that cuts power is good in case I have a, like a emergency stopping situation. Just really want to make sure that I get that motor shut off as quickly as possible. Also, I really do like the wire management here. Normally, I like to see the wires completely covered and wrapped. However, Civi Bikes does a really good job, I think, of keeping these wires clean, bundled together nicely. And like I mentioned, they do all feed directly into the frame here. So it's a really clean look. Wire management is on point. Uh, 10 stars <laughs> for, for that. Are we doing rankings now? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Also, very cool feature for this bike is it does have a front headlight here, as you can see right on the uh, front of the bike. Now, this front headlight, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna set this down real quick, the camera, so you can see. But the front headlight here has a couple of different modes. So you can turn it off with the, there's a little button here on the display. You can turn it off, you can turn it to the one position, which is gonna be kind of like a low power, or you can do the second position, which is high power. And it does actually offer a pretty good 
beam pattern for this bike. So not only does that front headlight increase visibility so that cars, so that uh, you know pedestrians, they can see you at night, but you can actually illuminate your path pretty well with that headlight, which is something I really appreciate seeing because honestly, on most electric bikes, the headlights are a little bit underwhelming. So yeah, kind of cool there. The tires are gonna be 26 inch, big old four inch wide fat tires. And you know, these fat tires are super trendy right now. And there's a reason for that. They're, they're comfortable to ride. These fat tires, they have a huge tire patch, which means if I'm going over stuff like this, like grass, um, mud, sand, snow, any sort of loose terrain, these tires in particular are going to do a really good job of just kind of floating over that softer surface because of that really wide tire patch. Also, these big fat tires, they have a lot of air volume, so they kind of act as suspension, which is good because this is a hard tail and it has solid front forks. The only real suspension on this bike is gonna be on the seat there, on the saddle. There is uh, springs on that, which actually you can feel them when you're riding. It is nice. It does have a little bit of like suspension for your butt there, so that's kind of cool. But the tires offer a little bit extra suspension, which is kind of cool. And I think that's one of the main reasons people are buying these tires or using these so much on bikes, electric bikes right now. Not just because they look cool, but because they're actually, they're, they're pretty functional. Now, the downside to having these big tires well, I guess we're just having that, that the wider tire patch is it does increase rolling resistance on this bike. So it does add some extra drag, but that's okay because again, we do have that really powerful 750 watt nominal 1200 watt peak power motor. So for this bike, not really a big deal. Now we did talk about it does have solid front forks. This is what these look like right here. I believe these are steel, which is nice. It does add a little bit of weight here to the frame. However, these, uh, these forks here will add some vibration dampening quality to the bike just kind of soaks up some of the vibration from the road noise there. So really good stuff. I'm telling you, man, this is really a fun bike to ride. It is a very cool cruiser style electric bike. <laughs> Even riding here uh, to, to film this review, uh, you know, we're at this golf course here, it's kind of local to us. We've filmed here before. <laughs> while, while riding on these trails, I had people actually just stop in their tracks while they're walking on this trail and just stare at this bike. It, this is a huge head turner of a bike, really cool stuff. If you want to, you can adjust the height of the uh, kickstand here. I've just had, I've got a little, like a little piece of wood just to prop the bike up a little bit more. But if I wanted to, you can unscrew this bottom piece right here and you can extend it or bring it up to kind of change the angle of how this bike rests when the kickstand is deployed. There's no fenders here on this bike. You could probably add them aftermarket if you want to. They do have a lot of accessories here, a lot of options to kind of upgrade this bike um, at kilowatt.store uh, if you do want to add some more accessories. One thing that they do offer, which is kind of cool, is a rear rack, and there are bosses pre-drilled into the frame here. You can see them right there. Those are rear rack bosses, so you can throw them on there. It'll actually bolt into the frame. It'll be nice and sturdy, and it increases the functionality of this bike to make it a little bit more of a commuter, um, or just to allow you to add like, saddlebags to add that rear rack you can put um, you know you can throw your panniers on there throw a bag on top and strap it down whatever you want just increases the functionality it means you can do more with this bike and here's that that saddle by the way just real quick here's the back of it those are the springs i was talking about and you, you can you can feel these while you're riding it does smooth out that ride if you wanted to add even more suspension here for the back for while you're riding in the saddle you could add like a sun tour or seat post suspension or any seat post suspension of your choice. I mean, this bike is already heavy at like 72 pounds or something. So, you know, what's an extra few pounds for a little bit extra suspension? Really not a, uh, not a bad option um, if you do want extra suspension. So let's go over here to the display on the City Bikes Cheetah. So on the left-hand side here, we've got the independent button pad. We've got a plus arrow, we've got a minus arrow, we've got the settings, power button, and then this is the lights right here. I was talking about that's off level one and level two for the bikes. Long press of the power button will bring the display to life here. Uh, pretty cool looking display. This is actually pretty bright. It's easy to read in direct sunlight. Right away on the top, you can see this little headlight icon whenever the lights are on. Or maybe it stays on all the time. I don't know. Well, it's supposed to go off when I turn off the lights, but whatever. Current speed right here, right here at zero miles per hour. Odometer, battery level right here. It's a five bar battery indicator. Um, you know, not bad, 20% increments, so it's relatively accurate as far as how much juice is left. I always prefer to see a percentage indicator. I would like to see that more on electric bikes because with a percentage indicator, you can really see 
uh, almost, almost exactly how much juice is left. And it's just, just kind of a nice feeling, right? I think there's like a lot of pedal assist modes in this one. It goes to zero, I think it's like up to nine, three, four, five, oh, up to five, okay. So five pedal assist levels on this bike and you can also change the, the ride style. This is in the power mode. If I hit setting, it'll go to eco mode standard and then all the way up to power so if you want to really like we're talking about that range on this bike you know 50 mile max range something like that but if you wanted to try to reach that range you'd want to put this in the eco mode um, and keep it in a low pedal assist setting to kind of really maximize uh, you know the the battery and to kind of extend the range there well Awesome peeps, we have covered this bike, this beautiful, beautiful Harley style kind of cruiser here. Now I am very excited to go take this for another test ride and uh, yeah, we'll show you this bike in action. So here we go.
All right, awesome peeps. That is pretty much it for the Civi Bikes Cheetah review. Again, in summary, this bike normally starts for $23.99. Right now, at the time of this review, it is on sale for $21.99, 200 bucks off from kilowatt.store. We will leave a link to that site in our full review in the description. So if you do want to check this out and buy it, you can find the link there. And look, this is a fantastic bike for anybody who wants to basically cruise around in style on a bike that is comfortable to ride, that is fun to ride, has plenty of power. Remember, it does have that 750 watt nominal power motor right there with the 1200 peak watts of power, 80 newton meters of torque. It does have the option to upgrade it at 17.5 amp hour battery. So the range on this is gonna be pretty good. Is this a commuter? Yeah, sure, you could use this as a commuter, especially since it does have the, uh, the bosses in the back there for the rear rack like we talked about. So you could actually increase the functionality of this bike. You could use it as a commuter, but really in my opinion, with the fat tires, that big comfy seat, the comfy ride in general, this kind of just feels like a, a cool cruiser. Um, so I guess it's more of a, a multi-function bike, but for anybody who is looking for something very fun to ride, this is going to fit that bill to a T. It is honestly just one of the most, one of the most fun bikes that we've tested in a long time. So awesome peeps, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you so much for watching. Watching. Happy holidays, and I will catch you guys next time.